Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a project that aims to bridge traditional finance and DeFi at a massive scale. It's called Rails, RLS. Imagine if banks, institutions, and everyday traders could use the same blockchain network. A system that meets regulatory compliance and gives you DeFi-style access, liquidity, and tokenized assets. That's what Rails tries to build. We'll explore what Rails is, how it works, what makes it unique, and what to watch out for. By the end, you'll know whether RLS is just hype or something worth adding to your watch list. Rails is a next-generation blockchain platform designed specifically for banks, financial institutions, but also open for public DeFi, crypto users. It's not just a regular blockchain, it's built with a dual architecture, a public, EVM-compatible chain for open finance, tokenized assets, DeFi apps, a private has permissioned subnet network for banks and institutions that need compliance, privacy, regulatory controls. In short, Rails aims to combine traditional finance, TradFi infrastructure with DeFi blockchain agility. It's a bridge to bring institutional capital, real-world assets, RWA, and regulated banking flows on-chain while preserving compliance and privacy. Let's break down the technical slash infrastructure side. Dual blockchain model, Rails supports a public chain, open to all, and private chains, subnets, for institutions. This means a bank can run its private ledger, while still having an option to bridge to public liquidity if needed. Compliance and privacy. Built-in, unlike many public blockchains, Rails is purpose-built with banking compliance, privacy protocols, and real-world asset tokenization capabilities. That's why they say it's C blockchain for banks. Real-world assets, RWA, and institutional use. Rails plans to support tokenized receivables, asset tokenization, cross-border payments, CBDC infrastructure, and institutional finance flows with scalability, plus privacy, plus compliance. DeFi plus TradFi Bridge. For regular DeFi builders or crypto users, they get all the perks of chain assets, liquidity, DeFi primitives, while institutions get security, compliance, and regulated rails. This could be a major step toward mass adoption and bridging real financial world with crypto world. Now let's talk about the token that powers rails. RLS, total, max, supply, 10 billion RLS. Utility. RLS is designed to handle network fees on private chains, validator staking for institutions that act as validators, and ecosystem incentives. On public chain, it supports governance, potential fees, and tokenized asset infrastructure. Institutional usage. When institutions use Rails's private networks or tokenization services, they pay fees, and those fees are denominated in RLS. That gives real-world demand for the token, potentially creating long-term value if adoption picks up. Token distribution investing. As disclosed, Rails aims for an ecosystem-first allocation, part for community and ecosystem incentives, part for investors, part for core contributors and technology providers. Vesting schedules reportedly apply for team sought investors to avoid sudden dumps. Current status? As of now, late 2025, Rails is in testnet, pre-mainnet phase. RLS is not yet broadly traded on major exchanges. Why am I paying attention to Rails? And why you maybe should too? Bridging TradFi and DeFi at scale. Rails attempts something huge. Bring banks via absolute institutions on chain while giving public users DeFi access. If done right, could unlock trillions in liquidity and real-world assets. Privacy plus compliance plus blockchain. Many blockchains sacrifice compliance or privacy. Rails tries to give both, a big advantage when dealing with banks, institutions, global finance regulation, RWA and real yield possibilities. Through tokenized receivables, real-world asset backing, and regulated Rails, Rails can offer real yield and real-world finance plus crypto integration. Infrastructure level project, not meme. 
This isn't about pump and dump. This is long-term infrastructure with real use cases, institutional backing, and ambition for scale. For long-term holders or builders, that's appealing. If Rails delivers on its roadmap, it could be one of the foundational layers bridging banks and DeFi in next five to 10 years.